My name's Karen Jones and I'm an educational psychologist. I've worked as an educational psychologist for a number of years and uh, my areas of speciality really are working with children who have behaviour and learning difficulties. Having said that, I've worked across the board with children from zero up to 19 and I also work with adults as well, mostly on assessment and support for difficulties at university. But with children, as I said, my expertise or my skills come with learning and behaviour. And for a long time I worked with very young children as a specialist in young children, with young children. And uh, with subjects such as autism um, and a range of learning difficulties. Now most most of my work is with families, um, parents and children. But I also work in schools as well, uh, trying to... Uh, help children move forward with difficulties either with learning or behaviour. I think a long time ago before children were integrated, we talk about integration and inclusion now in education, we worked in a, in a project where children were being included and integrated into mainstream schools before it was really considered to be the thing to do and that was a very interesting exercise in terms of encouraging schools to think about how they could offer a much wider um, scope for children who had learning difficulties and that was a big project because it involved parents it made sure the communities were part of it and the big thing was it stopped children becoming part of a hidden population that nobody really knew about um, and we know now that it's far more beneficial to ch for children to be included as part of their local mainstream schools to take part in all the activities that they that other children would do um, and to um, have friendships and, and um, social links with everybody within the community. Other things that I've done have included, included working with the media, um, which has always been interesting and exciting. Um, one project I worked on was with families who had children who had behaviour difficulties, and maybe that was helping to think about the problem not being the children having the behaviour difficulties, but maybe helping parents think about their strategies for parenting the children because parenting is all about helping to children help children to learn and to understand how they need to behave so though that sort of works interesting because you have to change the way of thinking you have to provide the strategies that will work so that people can really make some uh, steps forward and then actually feel much more confident about their own skills so that sort of work's been quite um, enjoyable some of the things I've worked with have been to do with uh, learning difficulties and behaviour difficulties. So, for example, if um, we've had children who have great difficulties um, playing nicely, as the phrase might be, or um, socialising well with their peers, there, we've had projects where those sort of issues have been covered. They, um, in some cases, what we find is that children are overwhelmed with choices. So the work with parents is to do with narrowing, narrowing their choices, making good use of their time, having specific structures and routines in places. Another big issue is often that parents don't know how to play with their children. So it's actually helping parents know that children do need time. They need to understand that play is very reciprocal, that we sometimes have to take the child's lead and follow on from that. Um, we also talk a lot about um, supporting children's learning. So if a child is learning to read or learning to count, what are the specific building blocks in that process that a, that a parent can help a child with? What's important in, importance in terms of practice? What are the teaching points that need to be reinforced? What do, children, do parents understand about literacy and numeracy? How is it being taught in school that they as a parent can learn about so that they can fo follow a consistent program in school, uh, follow a consistent program at home? Sometimes parents are worried about actually communicating with school, what questions they should ask, what do I need to know, what is the national curriculum, what's the national literacy scheme? And actually, if you know the questions to ask, then you can be much more specific. And you can also find out from school what type of things you can do with your children at home. I think sometimes the work that I'm doing with children involves their self-image and their concept, and it's how they feel about themselves within the context of their peers. 
making comparisons and yet not feeling comfortable about themselves. And again, there's always work to be done to encourage children to accept what they are, the skills they've got, and actually to have some belief in that. What children and parents sometimes do is focus on weaknesses and difficulties, whereas as as adults, what we need to do with our children is think about their strengths and their skills and allow children to feel comfortable in their own skin. If I was talking to you on the phone, what I would, I'd be thinking about is thinking very carefully about your problem, what it is, how, you, how you're presenting it to me, and t telling me what you think the key areas are. Because if we're working with parents or adults, the things we need to think about is what they actually believe they can work on. So I would hope that you'd be able to tell me or have some idea following a discussion with me what really the difficulties are and then how we can work on those. The ideas that often come from other people are the ones that they can work on most comfortably. You know your situation, you'd have some idea about what's possible. So I might be able to tease a path through that for you and I might be able to give you some pointers and some indicators that will say, well, how about trying this? What if we did this? Do you think that we could be successful with this? Then I think that's the type of path I'd be looking for. The important thing is for all of us to have success. We want to try something, we want to feel successful, and then we know we can build on that. So I'd be looking for some very simple pointers for you. I'd probably be talking about structure and routine. I'd probably be talking about trying to do some analysis about where the problems come from, and then thinking about those very simple solutions where you suddenly feel that you've got a eureka moment and you've made a breakthrough.